Hi, my name's Sydney Aarons. I'm a professional dog trainer, accredited to the National Dog Trainers Federation. And this week what we're going to be showing you is how to socialise your dog amongst people where you get the dog still obedient with you. So you need a good level of motivation and good control. So remember always having a dog on lead so you can re have a reliable outcome. So you can show the dog what you want. Remember they are a simple animal. So if you can show them what they want with a good level of motivation, you're going to be highly successful. So what we're going to do with a young star here now, we're going to take her over to a group of people. I'll allow her to go along through the people, sniff, greet them, but then at certain points in time I'm going to call her back to me. Sometimes she might need a lead correction, but if she comes back to me reliable she'll always be rewarded for it. So we'll just go over here and show her what to do. Star, come on. So just allowing her to socialise amongst people. No big deal. Good girl. Star! Star! Come Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. Alright. And she's repeating her process a number of times. Okay, she's a bit more focused on me now than she's anyone else. Which is fine. Not well, good for TV. Good girl. Stop. Come on. Good girl. Okay, well, always have a plan of what you want to do and be prepared for it. That's why I've got her on lead. I've got food treats. I can always control her and show her exactly what I want. Stop. Good girl. Now, obedience is about being obedient to you, not to everybody else around her. Okay? It's a really simple step, really simple procedure. And she's really food orientated. Start, come on. Good girl. Start, come on. Good girl. Remember always moving backwards away from the crowd, away from the group of people. Okay, because you are the main attraction in a dog's life, not everybody else around you. There's nothing worse than taking your dog out and having it jump all over people and be a pest, basically. So repeat it one more time. Even if she finds something a bit interesting to sniff on and she's pulling on a lead now, it's not something I like for a dog to be doing. Star, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Really quite a simple thing to do. Easy to teach. And remember, it is, it is all about obedience and dog being reliable. And remember, they are a social being at the end of the day and they do like to socialise. But just like children, you've got to teach them etiquette. So the topic I like to cover now is um, socialisation with humans. You see a lot of dogs that are fearful of humans and the way to build confidence is have a group of friends come over or if you're out socially with friends, just give them a piece of food each and let a dog to go up to them. As a dog sniffs them, your friends will give them a piece of food and it'll help the dog build confidence and build a positive connection towards strangers. Even though Star is very social, but this is just a demonstration for your own usage. Alright, so we'll just take Star over. Star, come on. Allow it to investigate people. Star. Okay, just feed them on. Just show her your hand. Just get your friends to show them that she's got food. Star, come on. Good girl. So just call her name when she comes around, guys. And just talk to her if she comes past you. Star. Star. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's a really good example. Good girl. Good Even talk girl. to your dog the whole way through it, let her know she's doing the right thing. Good girl. Good girl. Stop. Good girl. Okay, it was short, it was brief, it was very positive, it was very light. There's no real pressure put on the dog. As you can see, she's, like I said, she's very social, but at the end of the day, you want your dogs to be happy and confident around people. It stops any fear regression issues or any avoidance issues your dog might have to strange people. So a few points I'd like to make about what we've just done with Young Star here. So set yourself up for success as always and have a plan. So have your dog on lead, have a good level of motivation, either using yourself, food, a toy, whatever it takes to get the dog to be motivated. Um, and set yourself up with a group of friends like I have here that are embarrassed to snot out of me today and therefore you should be in business. If you'd like to contact me, get me through houndtp.com forward slash dog training and we'll see you all again next week.